Hey guys, my name is Eamon Ryan. Um, this is behind the scenes for my breakthrough video under the hopes that I win. If I don't, I'm still gonna edit this and put it together because I'm, ve I'm pr very proud of what I've got so far in the video. But right now, it's been about a month into actually working on the video and um, I've, I've done moreover a lot of the planning stage. So uh, as you can see here, I've got, um, you know, I've got my research um, or at least some of my research, I have more in another document. And over here, I've got my script. It's not that long, but it's actually a little bit over three minutes, which is the time limit that you have on this type of video. So I, I'm really cutting it close because I'm gonna have to remove something, but um, so far that's where I am on the actual text and the word stuff around this. But right now I'm actually working on storyboarding because my video, is an animation um, and film type video. And of course, we've also produced our own music for this. Um, or by the time this video will be, I don't know, somewhere on the internet, um, we would have produced our own music and the video would be out. I organized my script into five different sets, which is just ordering um, kind of categories of uh, the, and what I'm talking about in terms of subject. And uh, for set one, we've got uh, this stuff right here. These are playing out each of the individual sentences. So these correspond to sentences um, in the main script. Um, so that's set one. This is set two. Obviously set two is a little bit longer than set one because set one's the introduction. More of set two. The animation isn't, or the drawing is not perfect here, but it's just planning. That's set three, which is what I'm currently working on. There are five sets in total. So hopefully by the end of this month. Uh, currently it is April 26, 2020. I've got three, about two and a half sets done. I'm almost done the third set um, out of five. And once we finish this, I have to probably spend a couple months on animation. Maybe, a, maybe like minimum a full month. Uh, it was just pure animation and designing the characters because everything I plan to make it authentic in this video, nothing sourced from non-copyright sources. So yeah, and hopefully we'll get the video done because we still got to record everything in person. We have some VFX that we have to do, which isn't just animation. And we've also got to produce some music or I have to do most of that. I've got friends who are going to help me out, uh, but who are claiming full credit to me um, just so there isn't any issues with copyright. But other than that, it's really making my quarantine interesting and uh, I'll check back in when I made some progress. All right, so it's been a couple days and I've just finished all of the storyboards. So I'm now in the point of my project where I finished all of the planning, which means the storyboard is done, the script is done and all the research is done, of course, to make all of those. As you can see here, these documents right here. So these are all of my storyboard panels. Uh, of course, I crossed them out because I organized them into sets, but in total, we got a lot. We got all of these papers, each of them individually pertaining to um, a part in the in the video. If it were to be a different animation, a footage a scene, overlay, uh, anything that happens within the video is documented here. But now we're getting to the execution phase, which is my favorite phase because this is where we see results. Now. Get ready. I'm doing one of these cool transitions. Hi guys, it's Voice of Raymond. So there actually wasn't many clips I recorded for like the vlog, you know, style that I've been doing for like this whole video uh, that I recorded on the day that we filmed. Um, and there is one that I'll show in a little bit, but uh, mostly um, the filming day was, was pretty successful. Uh, it was sunny, we planned out the weather, we made sure it was a nice day to film. Uh, there was obviously a couple of hiccups here and there because, um, you know, there's a lot of scenes that I wanted to go for, uh, like the one on the roof, and that involved, you know, getting on the roof. So there was a little bit of um, uh, difficulties with my parents wondering if it was safe or not, uh, and rightfully so. Uh, but yeah, filming was really fun. Um, it was a one day shoot. We didn't have to do any retakes, um, at least on other days. We did have to do it during the same day. Uh, and it was pretty good. Uh, the first location uh, I thought was really nice. Uh, so here's the clip I recorded from that day. It's kind of short and subtle, but it, it kind of gives you an idea of, you know, what my mind was going through that day. 
uh, like kind of the process and the rush I was in. Uh, you can really tell in the way I speak and just gen genuinely what I'm saying. It also gives more of a realistic aspect to what's it, what is it like to do this project? What am I actually saying and doing? Uh, so here it is. We are currently in the midst of filming. I just filmed the first location, which was on the porch. And uh, we're now going to the stairway setting. Um, by, by now you probably would have already seen the video. So uh, you'll know what I mean. I'm wearing my different outfit, got different shoes. And we just filmed out here on the porch. Thanks. All right, um, so we're finally, it's like, it's been a couple months. It's uh, surprising how much time passed and that for me, what, what felt for me like a short period of time, I've completed around almost all of the illustrations for the animations in the video. Um, we've only got a couple to go. I'm on 22, I think like five or four more. Um, we're nearing the due date, which is next month. Um, and I was working on this for a couple months and I hadn't even realized it, but right now we're starting up scene 22 uh, in the illustration thing. You guys can see it in the time lapse. Um, and then we've already filmed everything. Um, and I guess it's just gonna be a straight month of editing and late nights. Aside from also doing AP exams and school exams. But hopefully we'll, we'll bang this one out. And uh, I'm excited to see the final product because I haven't seen it yet. I don't know if you have, but just tell me if it's good. Another update, it's time for the final animation. It's scene 29, I've just did scene 28, I've just done scene 29, uh, and it's currently 9.44 p.m. 
after I finish this animation, it's smooth sailing. It's just gonna be color correcting, transitions, basic editing, and then boom, the video is done. It's like rough draft. Well, not rough draft. Kind of like very much revised rough draft, but I'm still gonna send it out to people so we can get peer reviewed. Uh, but before that, I've gotta finish it and uh, it's final animation. Sean just screamed. That's my brother. And there it is. Final animation that we're about to animate right here. CRISPR versus COVID-19. I haven't organized anything yet, but in approximately, hopefully less than three hours, uh, this will be complete and the video in essence in its bare, in its bare bones and foundations will be 100% complete. All right. All right, and by using this mouse, I can go to file, export, add to render queue and go over and then I can click this button right here. Once I click this, the animation will officially be complete. Now, rendering, boom. It's almost there. And we are complete. This animation is finished and everything else is done. Oh, that was a lot of effort. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, I really uh, enjoyed making this project and it, it was a big part of my life for the past you know, quarantine period. So it really means a lot to me uh, that you guys uh, were willing to take the time not only to watch the main video if you did, and to watch the behind the scenes because I feel like it, it wasn't necessarily made 100% clear in the video how long things may have taken. I, I, I'm really glad I had this opportunity to share the amount of effort that I put into this. So before I end the video, I'm just gonna quickly answer a couple questions that I've been getting mainly on the main video. So first of all, this is not necessarily a question but I do wanna make it clear. Everything that I have in my video, uh, from the music to the footage, to the animations and designs were all created by me. There is nothing in that video that I did not personally create. So everything uh, there is my ownership. The song was made by um, my friend Isaac Keen, who goes by the artist named Keem. It was one of his first productions, uh, so all rights go to him, uh, but he's also granted the rights to me for this video and we worked on it together, so um, it was kind of like a partnership song. Also, I've been getting a lot of questions about how long did it take in total? And from earlier in the video, I said that it took uh, 54 hours for the illustration and animation. And while that was true, um, that was only a portion of the whole project. Uh, it's broken up into stages. So I had my writing phase, storyboarding phase, animation, illustration, and then post-production, so editing, also filming. So it totals out to around 150, maybe 160 hours of straight work. And uh, yeah, so it's quite a while but that's because I, I put a lot of effort into making things look kind of perfect. Yeah. So another question that I get is what softwares did I use? And if you um, paid attention to the time-lapse, you can see that I was using Adobe Illustrator to design all of the models, um, Adobe After Effects to animate the models. And I didn't show it in the time-lapse, but I also used Adobe Premiere to edit the video. And uh, those are all very great uh, paid software, my school offers it to us for free using an enterprise ID. But if you don't have these paid softwares, you don't need to. I just am more familiar with Premiere, that's why I use it. But any free software you can find online should be good enough. Uh, and personally, if you wanna learn anything about video editing, I would say that YouTube is a great place and Skillshare as well. Um, you can find tutorials from people who are way more experienced um, than most people that you would know and they, they can share your experience with you for free. So I would recommend if you're trying to learn anything, just search it up. It's what I do, it's how I learn to edit, it's how I learn to do everything that I do. If you have any questions, just feel free to comment. I will reply. I, I reply to almost all my comments unless they seem kind of sketchy. And uh, I do my best uh, to make sure that I fully reply and understand all of the comments. And if you like this video and you liked my other video, please feel free to share it to your friends. Not only do I obviously want people to see the video because I'm proud of it, but I also think uh, the technology CRISPR is a very useful technology and that it deserves to be talked about more. Um, and I hope that my video would be a good way of expressing it. So if you want to send it to your friends, I encourage you to do so and turn on the notification bell for my channel, subscribe, because I'm gonna make more content like this. I love making videos. So with that, 
I would like to say goodbye. Until the next video, thank you for watching. This was behind the scenes of CRISPR, the next step, my entry to the Breakthrough Junior Challenge 2020.